Hey you guys, this is Mr. Millings and in this video we are going to learn how to convert moles to milligrams and milligrams to moles for elements that are on the periodic table. So grab your scientific calculators, grab your periodic table and grab a scratch sheet of paper and let's go ahead and jump right in with some problems. In this first example, it says how many moles are in 6.34 times 10 to the negative third milligrams of iron. So if we take a look at this question, it says, how many moles are in 6.34 times 10 to the negative 34th milligrams of iron? So the very first thing we should probably do is take a look at iron on our periodic table of elements. And iron is right here on our periodic table. And if we take a look at iron on our periodic table of elements, this little box here gives us some information that we're going to need to solve this problem. If we take a look at this problem right here, and in this box for uh, iron right here, what this number right here tells us, what this average atomic mass tells us, is the molar mass of iron. What this number tells us below the chemical symbol is that for every one mole of iron, it's going to have a mass of 55 0.85 grams of iron and in an earlier video we learned the relationship between moles and mass and Avogadro's number. If we have one mole of iron it's going to have a mass of 55.85 grams of iron if we take a look on the periodic table and if we have a mass of this much iron it's going to contain 6.02 times 10 to the 23rd atoms of iron. Right? And we learned that this was called Avogadro's number. So that is the relationship between moles, mass, and Avogadro's number. But let's take a look at the problem here. It says how many moles are in 6.34 times 10 to the negative third milligrams of iron? So in this problem right here, we are starting off with 6.34 times 10 to the negative third milligrams of iron and what we want to do is we want to figure out how many moles this represents so if we take a look here at all the stuff we know we know the number of moles we know that the mass in grams and we know the number of atoms right but in this problem here we know that the given quantity is in milligrams but if we take a look at our periodic table, the molar mass here is in grams per mole. So the very first thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to convert milligrams to grams. So we're going to have to cancel out milligrams of iron. And if we're going to cancel out this unit, milligrams of iron, where do you think we're going to put that in this next fraction or equivalent statement? Well, we're going to put it in the denominator. If we put milligrams of iron in the denominator, these two units can now cancel. Remember, if we have something in the numerator and that same something in the denominator, we can cancel them out just like that. And units can do the same thing. So we're going to convert the milligrams to grams of iron. And grams will go in the numerator. So now you have to ask yourself, what's the relationship that exists between these two units? What does the prefix milli mean? We have milligrams right here. Well, milligrams or the prefix milli means 10 to the negative third or 1 1,000th. And so what that means is that there's 1,000 of these tiny little milligrams for every one gram. And so now if we take a look, milligrams of iron is going to cancel out, leaving us with grams of iron. But we don't want to know the grams of iron. We want to know the number of moles of iron. So we're going to have to cancel out grams of iron. We'll put that in the denominator. So that way these two units can cancel. And we're asked to figure out the number of moles of iron. So we'll put that in the numerator. So now ask yourself, what relationship exists between these two units of measurement? Well, we just figured that out by looking on our periodic table of elements. Every one mole of iron every one mole of iron is 55.85 grams is 
0.85 grams. Grams of iron in the numerator and denominator can now cancel out, leaving us with what unit in our final answer? Moles of iron. So now, how do we solve this problem? Well, we get our calculator out, and we're going to start all the way on the left with our known quantity. We'll take this, and we'll work our way from left to right. And as we work our way from left to right, if we come across a number other than 1 that is in the denominator, we're going to divide. So we'll take this, divided by 1,000, and divided by 55.85. So if we take 6.34, times 10 to the negative third divided by a thousand divided by 55.85 we're going to end up with 1.14 times 10 to the negative seventh moles of iron so if we have this many milligrams of iron it's going to equal 1.14 times 10 to the negative 7th moles of iron. They're the same quantities. One is expressed in milligrams, one is expressed in moles. Let's take a look at another example. In the second example, it says how many milligrams, how many milligrams are in 2.45 times 10 to the 4th moles of boron? So in this problem here, we're talking about boron. So the very first thing we should do is probably take a look at boron on our periodic table of elements. It's right here. And what does this number below the chemical symbol tell us? Well, that number below the chemical symbol tells us that for every one mole, for every one mole of boron, I'll erase this, for every one mole of boron, it's going to have a mass of 10.81 grams. And if you had this mass of boron, that is going to equal this many atoms of boron, Avogadro's number. So in this problem here, it says how many milligrams are in 2.45 times 10 to the fourth moles of boron. So in this problem, the starting quantity is 2.45 times 10 to the fourth moles of boron. And what we want to do with the moles of boron is we want to know, we want to figure out and determine the mass in milligrams. So the very first thing we're going to have to do here is cancel out the moles of boron so we're going to put that at the bottom of our little fraction or equivalent statement right here. And what do you think we should convert to first? Can we go directly to milligrams? If we look at our known stuff up here, we can't. We see grams here. So we're probably going to have to convert this to grams of boron first. That will go in our numerator. If we take a look now, what's the relationship that exists between grams of boron and moles of boron? Well, if you Pay attention up here. You'll see that one mole of boron is 10.81 grams of boron. Now if we take a close look, moles of boron in the numerator and denominator can now cancel, leaving us with grams of boron. But the question here asks for the mass in milligrams. So we're going to have to cancel out grams of boron in our next step here by putting it in the denominator and by putting milligrams of boron in the numerator. So what is the relationship that exists between these two units? Well, this requires a knowledge of metric prefixes, right? So what does milli mean again? The prefix milli, like we just got done saying, is 10 to the negative third or 1 over 1,000. And so what this means is that there are a thousand tiny little milligrams in one gram. So if we take a look now, grams of boron in numerator and the denominator are going to cancel, leaving us with milligrams of boron as our final unit of measurement, which is what we were asked to find, how many milligrams. So now how do we do this problem? Well, we start on the left with our starting quantity. We move from left to right. If we come across a number other than one, we're going to, in the numerator, we're going to multiply by it. 
So we take 2.45 times 10 to the 4th times 10.81 times 1,000, and we should end up with our answer. 2.45 times 10 to the 4th times 10.81 times 1,000 is going to give us 2.65 times 10 to the 8th milligrams of boron is our final answer. So how many milligrams are in 2.45 times 10 to the 4th moles of boron? Well, it looks like we figured it out 2.65 times 10 to the 8th milligrams of boron. So that is how you're going to use your periodic table of elements and a scientific calculator and your knowledge of metric prefixes to solve problems like this, where you're asked to go from moles to milligrams. So now let's take a look at a few sample problems that you can try out on your own. All right, so try your own. It says right here to perform the following calculations. Round your answer to three significant figures and put your answer in scientific notation. So here's a set of five problems that you can practice on your own. I re recommend that you pause the video right now and I'm gonna give you the answers in five, four, three, two, one. How did you do people? Hopefully you got them all right. If you got all of these correct, then you are a pro at converting moles to milligrams and milligrams to moles for elements that are on the periodic table. If you like what you see, go ahead and click that little bomb in the bottom right hand corner and that's going to subscribe you to my channel and feel free to leave any comments or questions in the comment section down below and I really hope you guys found this helpful.